Welcome to AzureTeach.net. In this demo, we are going to create an API controller that will upload the files to Azure Storage Containers root folder and also into the subfolders. Let us start. Here I have created a .NET 6 Web API project and we have to add the NuGet package related to Azure Storage account. So here I am going to NuGet packages and searching for blob. And we have to add azure.storage.blobs. I am installing this. I accept the terms. The installation is completed. Now I am adding a new controller. Controller API. API controller empty. Add. I am naming my controller as files controller. Here I am in portal.azure.com and clicking on storage accounts, choosing this storage account. And here, if you go to access keys and show keys, here we have two connection strings and we can take one of these. I am taking the first one. And also, if you go to the containers, I have a demo container over here and we are going to upload the files to this container. Here I am declaring a variable private string underscore connection string and pasting the connection string that we have copied here i am writing an action public async task of i action result i want to name my action as upload file to storage and it accepts a i list of form files so here i am writing i list i form file and here i am naming it as files and after that here I'm decorating this with HTTP post and I want to go with the action name so here I'm writing action here I'm writing blob container client press control dot and we have to use this namespace blob container client is equal to new blob container client and to this we have to pass the connection string and also the container name we can get the container name from the Azure. So I'm copying the container name and here I'm pasting this. We have to iterate over the files and upload them to the storage account. So here I'm writing I form file file in files and here we have to copy the stream from the file object to a memory stream and we have to pass that to the blob container client so here i'm writing where stream is equal to new memory stream after that here i'm writing await file dot copy to async of stream so this will copy the stream from the file object to the memory stream that we have created and after that here i'm setting the position of stream to zero and here i'm writing await blob container client dot upload blob async and here we have to pass a blob name so here we can take it from file object dot file name and after that here we have to pass the stream in the end i am returning return ok of files uploaded successfully now i am running the solution it opened the swagger ui i'm clicking on the post button clicking on try it out here clicking on add string item choose file i'm choosing this file and after that clicking on add string item again choose file and now i'm choosing this document and clicking on execute so here we got 200 response and files uploaded successfully here i'm in the storage account clicking on this refresh button and here if you see there are two files let us verify the contents i'm clicking on this file edit and here this is the content that we have uploaded as part of this file now i'm stopping the solution and if you want to upload these files to a particular folder you can do that like this so here i'm writing folder one slash folder two and after that i'm taking the file name over here and here also we have to put a slash so 
if you run the solution the files will be uploaded to folder 1 slash folder 2 so let us run the solution and test it so it opened the swagger ui clicking on this post button clicking on try it out add string item choose file and here i'm choosing the same file again i'm clicking on add string item and here i'm clicking on test doc and clicking on execute so here we got 200 response let us verify if the files are uploaded or not so here i'm clicking on refresh button and here if you see folder one is created and inside that folder two created and here we have the files if this demo is helpful to you please like this video and also share it with your friends subscribe to azureteach.net channel for more videos on azure and .net thank you